Yo, what up? Welcome back to my channel where I'm going to create a functioning app that allows you to create users and log in using Firebase for the backend. So for this particular video, I'm going to show you the UI and the design of our login screen first. And then we're going to use this UI to hook it up to Firebase and we can then log in and create users and things like that. So we're going to do that in the following videos. So in this one, let's just focus on creating the UI first. We've opened up a brand new Flutter project and just to keep everyone on the same page in my main function, I'm running my app, which brings us to this login page, which is a stateful widget. And inside I've just got a blank scaffold in here. So this should just be a blank app, as you can see. And from here, let's create our login screen. So I'm just going to try to go for a very simple and very minimal look. So let's make the background color a bit gray. And in the body, let's create a big column and let's create a bit of a plan here. So at the top, I just want to say some text saying hello again, just to greet the user. And then let's create a couple of text fields. So the first one is going to be the username text field, or maybe the email text field, and then password text field. And then we want to have a sign in button. And then at the very bottom, we want a um, register button. So something like this, not a member, register now. Awesome, so let's go for this. Now at the top, again, just to greet the user, because this is a login screen, I'm gonna say, hello again, and you can see it's stuck in the corner there. So let's just wrap this in a safe area widget so that we don't have to deal with this notch. And what else? I want to align this to the middle. So I'm just gonna center this column. This should do the trick. And let's make this text widget much bigger. So let's make it bold and the size it's 14 by default. Let's go for 24. Cool. And let's just put in another text widget below here and say something, something nice and cute. So welcome back. You've been missed. And this one, we don't have to make it bold. Cool. And let's just put in some space in between here using a sized box. And maybe also a sized box just at the top. I want a more gap there. And now let's go for the email text field. So with this, I'm going to use a text field. And so if you just save this, you should be able to see this little text field here that you can type into. And so what I want to do there is to use some decoration. So input decoration. Now there's a lot of properties in the decoration inside of the text field that we can decorate. But just to make it a little bit easier for us, I'm gonna say input border none. So there's nothing there. 
but I'm just going to wrap this in a container. And I'm just going to decorate up the container. So one look I like to go for is having a sort of lighter gray for the actual color like that. But then the border make it completely white. Kind of creates a nice outline there. And let's wrap this in a padding symmetric of 25. Cool. And last thing is let's curve this corner. Cool. So that's looking good. So now we can just type stuff in here. And what I'm going to do is in the text field, you should be able to see the hint text somewhere should be inside the border decoration hint text. So this is just a string, which we can say email. So you can see it gives us the little hint text there. And once you start typing, it'll go away. Okay, now let's do the same thing for the password text field. But this one is first of all, let's just put in some padding just on the left side. Yep, just put some space there. Awesome. Now let's copy this and create it here, but change this to password. And let's put in a sized box between these two. Maybe just 10. Cool. Now one thing about the text fields here is once you've got an email at the top, for the password, you don't want to display the password, right? Like you don't want to make it showing. So if you look at the text field, we should be able to say obscure text true. So what this does is it obscures it by changing it all into asterisks. So that's kind of how we want the password to behave, right? Awesome. Now let's add another sized box. And now we're going to put in a sign in button. So let's say container and the child sign in. Let's put it in the middle. There it is. And let's decorate this up. So color, so this one, you can just use any color for the sort of theme of your app. But you guys know, I love to use my deep purple. And let's clean this up. So padding, symmetrical, horizontal 25. Maybe we want to change this to white. And also give some padding. And let's curve these borders. Cool, looking good. Okay, so far so good. And now, now below this, we want a sized box again. And we want to have a bit of a message here saying, 
not a member then register now and actually with this one let's just separate this out put this text in a row and I'm gonna say register now but this one let's make it blue and bold cool and maybe we could just do the same thing for this one except not blue just leave it as bold Cool, and let's just space this to be in the middle. There we go. And maybe we should put a space bar here. Just to separate this out. And later we can change this register now text widget into a uh, gesture detector so that we can tap on it and bring us to the sign up page. So we'll get to that a bit later on in the next couple of videos. So in terms of the actual login screen, this is essentially it. But let's make this a little bit more prettier by spacing these things out. So let's see what happens if I say maybe center. Cool. And let's actually just space this out more appropriately. So we've got the hello again. I think we can get rid of this sized box now. And so we've got the hello again, and let's put in a bigger sized box here. And maybe make this text widget a bit bigger. And if you look at the very end, we need some more space here. So I'm going to say 25. Cool, so that's looking pretty good. So we basically have all the elements there. Now, this is probably good enough, but I want to make this just a tad better looking. Let's go to PubSpec YAML. Let's bring in a Google font. And my favorite font, if you go to the hello again, let's go here, right? Let's go Google fonts dot Babus. Where you at Babus? There you are. If I save this, it's going to be pretty small. So let's make this much bigger. And depending on your app, you can put a nice logo up here if you want. So let's say, let's give us some random icon. Maybe Android. Hmm, let's just go with this. So yeah, if you've got a particular logo, you can put that here. And this is going to be our login screen we're going to use to cook it up with Firebase and have an actual functioning app with users and things like that. So this is just the UI portion for the login screen. I think it looks pretty good and pretty simple. So let's use this to hook it up with Firebase in the next couple of videos and we can actually make the app functional with users and creating users and signing them in and things like that so look forward to it in the next couple of videos and i'll see you there thanks for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace